Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday of the 25th week. We celebrate the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, the saints often have a charism, some kind of a gift, that we take a look at their lives, and we think about how they have changed many people's lives. You know what? We have gifts as well. So as we begin, let's kind of think about those people that have changed our lives, and maybe, hopefully, how we've changed the lives of others for the good. For the time we forgot that God loves us, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant that a fire with the same spirit, we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord my God. I said, my God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. Oh my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped up above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, Great has been our guilt, and for our wicked deeds we have been delivered up, we and our kings and our priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage and to the disgrace, as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude, our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus, he has given us new life, to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins, and has granted us a fence in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God who lives forever. Praise him, your children of Israel, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of Ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I will praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give him praise. Blessed be God who lives forever. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure disease. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, take nothing for the journey, no walking stick, no sack, no food, no money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for, you, as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, if I were to tell you um, all the wonderful people that have had a positive influence in my life, I'd be here for a very, very long time. I'd like to share one person who did and who affected many lives. His name was Father Joe Streit. Uh, if you didn't know him, uh, you missed out on uh, just a really, really neat guy, a wonderful priest. Uh, and I have a story about him that was told to me after he died. He died in 2001. 
And it was a story shared with me by a nun who attended at his wake and his funeral. And she explained to me that um, she saw the man there sitting for the entire wake, sitting in the church. And then for the funeral, he sat in the church, but he didn't stand when most of the people in church stand. He didn't kneel down when most of the people did. And when the mass was over and people were leaving, he sat in the church by himself, and she said he was sobbing, sobbing uncontrollably. So she said she sat down, gave him a hug, and she, you know, wanted to know how he knew Father Strike. And he shared the following story. He was a patient at Mercy Hospital in Wilkesbury, and he said he was being wheeled to the operating room, and the orderly that was wheeling with him, Father Strite was walking the hallway, this man hadn't known him, and the orderly stopped and asked Father Strite a question. When Father Strite answered it, he said to the man who was being wheeled into surgery, this guy who told the story, he said, uh, what, are you, what are you having surgery, so what's, what are you going in for? And the man shared it with him. And Father Strite said to him, is there anybody here waiting for you? And the man said, no. Father Strite said, is there anybody at home waiting for you? The man said, no. He told Father Strite he had no family, he had no friends, he had no one waiting for him. Father Strite gave him, said a prayer, gave him a blessing and said, I'll be waiting for you. And you know what? As long as you're in this hospital, I'll visit you every day. And the man went on to tell the religious sister that that's exactly what happened. When he came out of surgery and when he recovered, who was in the recovery room? Father Strite. Who went to see him all 10 days he was in the hospital? Father Strite never missed a day. Sometimes he visited him two, three, four times a day. Sometimes it was in the morning, sometimes it was late at night but he always came in and visited him. And he said, when it was time to go home, he said he was gonna get a cab, but who took him home? Father Strite. Not only did he take him home, he got him settled in his bed. And you know what else he did? Father Strite went and did some food shopping. He checked his refrigerator, checked his cabinets. He went out and shopped for food so this guy had things to eat. Because apparently he told this nun he had pretty much nothing in his house. And so um, he said, the nun afterward um, said, you know, she thought about it and she remembered what Father Strite um, had one time told her um, a, a, about person. And here's what he said. He said, a person can keep their sanity and stay alive as long as there are at least one person waiting for them, a man or a woman can keep their sanity and stay alive as long as there are at least one person waiting for them. And she said, you know, he not only told me that many times when she went to see Father Strife for spiritual direction, but she said, he not only said it, he lived it. I hope that story has meaning for you. It certainly does for me. God bless. For those people that are with us during the most difficult times of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and for those who care for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For families, that they may truly be reunited, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer. Continue that we may serve you faithfully through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into a gift acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, it is truly right and just that we offer to you our thanks and our love. In the beginning, you created the universe, and then you chose to create us in your image and in your likeness. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, eat this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Stephen E. Sokatch and Frank Galonis, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they reunited with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, Lord I am not, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We knew by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too may we be sustained by his prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve <coughs> the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.